Welcome back to 7 News. It's been a fight years in the making, nerve-wracking for businesses who are betting on investments. But today, medical marijuana took a giant step into West Virginia as certification is now a, re a reality in the Mountain State. Brindley joins us live in the 7 News studio after talking to the main players about this day. They've been holding on to their breath for so long. Stephanie, what does this mean for the Ohio Valley? Steve, it means progress. Though West Virginia is behind, we're now taking the action our border states have already ventured into. Something after years of pushing, Delegate Sean Fluharty says keeps jobs in our state and something out-of-state businesses want in on. Today in West Virginia, if you want to apply to be part of the medical cannabis program, you can do so. A Pennsylvania premier medical cannabis dispensary group, the Healing Center, has had its eyes on West Virginia for years. And now they plan to set up five shops in the state, with one of those in Tridelphia and one in Weirton. We're very excited to venture into West Virginia because we have three dispensaries in western Pennsylvania. Uh, and those the Healing Center, the most successful dispensaries in Pennsylvania. But the one, first one we got was in Washington, PA, which is not very far. So our patients, you know, already feel like our patients. And people looking in see a huge need for medical cannabis in the Mountain State stat. Now, what does it mean for the patients in, in West Virginia? It means another option. It means a plant-based option. What we have found at our dispensaries is everything from chronic pain to cancer, to anxiety, to any of these list of conditions in Pennsylvania, and then down a all the way down to the opioid crisis, which has been tragic in, in your areas, just like our areas. We've been able and been successful to get a lot of people get a little replacement therapy going. This word healthy, Flu Hardy says, takes on many facets. Well, anytime you have people who are healthy, that helps the economy. And this is about public health. It's a public health issue. The Healthy Center says they hire right here from the community with 15 or more jobs per dispensary. West Virginia growers were awarded a few months ago, but not so fast. It's typically about 12 months after that that you'll start to see some product come out from, from a grower. Getting people in the program will keep a crowd of young folks that Flu Hardy says are leaving our state in droves. So if you thought about getting certified for medical cannabis, well, West Virginia's light is looking green. Live in the 7 News studio, I'm Stephanie Grinley, working for you.